Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 3-21. In exercise 3-20, the parts undergoing to the drawing process were not animated, which is a kind of animation error. And more importantly, we were not able to get the time average number of parts undergoing the drawing. And you should have noticed a discrepancy between the time average number of parts in the system and the sum of the time averages of the number in each of the queues. So we need to actually fix all these things in this exercise. And uh, we have noticed that the resource capacity of drawing process is 10 units. So let's move to the arena home screen. So here is our model. There is nothing changed in the model as we discussed in the previous exercise but you need to change here so open the process module of the dryer and rename it as a dryer with 10 spots and change its action from delay to sees delay release and add the resource name dryer spot and you need to seize release is equal to 1 and the delay type is constant and its value is 15 units in minute and then click OK. When we run the simulation, you can clearly see the queue length of the dryer process remains zero. But we can also check from the variable module. So simply add the variable from the resource animation. And under the expression, build expression, move to the entity and the current numbering queue and select the queue name that is dryer with 10 queue. And repeat the same steps for the rest of the processes number in queue variable value. And this chart is actually representing the queue length of the paint and finish operation as well. So this is the graphical form and this is the in variable forms. And now how we can add the drying sport resource. So in that case, simply you need to click the resource animation panel and under the resource animation add the idle and busy resource like this simply made the uh, copy of the first box and then repeat it this one is for the idle case and this one is for the busy case all right and after that move to the entity spreadsheet and here select the initial picture is picture dot ball and the queue is uh, First type is first in first out for all three processes and the capacity of paint and finisher both is equal to 1 but the capacity of the dryer spot is 10 okay so after uh, doing all these things move to the run setup menu and here you can see the replication length is 24 hours and the number of replication is equal to 1 and then click ok and then let's run the simulation and here you can see the number in queue here number in queue value is remain zero and here number in queue value and this is the drying spot like the resource capacity that value is equal to 10 so here you can see the parts are coming to the drying process for drying and then move to the finishing operation and this chart is showing the queue length for the paint and finishing operation and you may notice this value remains zero this value there is nothing change in this queue length it means the max capacity of the drive process is equal to 10 as given in the case but the process is uh, required minimum amount of six unit that can be seen in the result view so let's fast forward it to view the result okay so here you can see the okay so here you can see the total parts time in the system is 72.37 minutes and the time average number of parts in the system is 14.8878 and under the queue section you can see the dryer with 10 spot queue value is 0 and finish operation queue is 6.25 and time average number of hours in queue 
four paint station is three point six nine eight three, and the average time in queue is thirty, and the paint station is seventeen. Definitely, this value is zero as there is no uh, entity in the queue to wait. Okay, and uh, under the resource utilization, you can see the uh, finisher utilization is ninety five percent and the paint utilization is 87 percent as well as the number of dryers for busy time average is 3.1021 and maximum value is 6 it means the current case has if the capacity of 6 then remain queue length is equal to 0 but if we decrease the capacity of dryers for to 10 to let's say 5 3 or 2 then some parts have to wait in the queue so the important thing if you compare this exercise solution to exercise 3-20 and now the sum of the time average number in the queue plus in service at either painting or finishing plus the time average number of parts in the dryer is 14.8878 that is clearly seen in this case so if you sum the value of 3.698 this one 6.25 3.6983 plus 0.875 plus 0.9551 plus point, uh, this value sorry this value 3.1021 0.9551.8758 so this is the resource utilization and the queue time that is 3.698 and 6.25 number in queue value so if you sum all these values then that is equal to the this value that is 14.8878 which is now exactly equal to the time average number of parts in system since unlike the exercise 3-20, we are now counting for all parts regardless of whether they are in system. And that concludes our exercise 3-21. Thank you.